Hello everyone. Our true story this week is from Mark chapter 4 verses 31 to 45. Now this story truly tells us who Jesus is. So listen up well. Now in my house I have found a boat to help us hear the story. I've also found some cloth that's going to be the sea and I found some little figures so I'm going to put Jesus in the boat and there's going to be the disciples too. So listen well. Now Jesus had had a really busy day and he had been teaching lots of people, crowds of people had come to listen to Jesus but now evening had come and so Jesus said to his disciples let us go over to the other side of the shore and so they got a boat and just as they were, they got into the boat to go along to the other side. Now, as they were in the boat, a huge storm began and the waves got bigger and they got bigger and bigger until they were going into the boat. It was truly terrifying. But where was Jesus? Well, Jesus, he was asleep in the boat, his head on a cushion, fast asleep. And so the disciples stood up and said, Jesus, don't you care if we are going to drown? Don't you care, Jesus? And Jesus asked them this question. He said, where is your faith? And at that moment, Jesus stood up and he did something amazing. As that storm was raging, Jesus said, be quiet, be still. And the storm stopped. Wow, that was amazing. But the disciples were terrified and they asked the question, who is this man? that even the waves and the wind obey him. What a good question. Who is Jesus? Well, the Bible shows us that Jesus has the power over everything. When Jesus says stop, the storm stopped. We can trust Jesus who has the power over everything. Let's pray. Dear Father God, thank you that Jesus has the power over all things. Please help us to trust Jesus even when things look very frightening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, how can you tell this story this week? Well, you might have a boat like this one and you might have some people. Perhaps you've got some Lego people, Duplo people. Or you might have some Playmobil people which you can put into the boat and you can act out the story just like I did. Or maybe you don't have a boat and so you can have a look at some junk that you might have hanging around. I found an old egg box and make a boat for yourself. This one's got some um, kitchen roll and some triangles on it to make it sail along and you might be able to make some people to go inside. Or how about making something to make that storm? I've got here a little tub, which I've filled up with rice to make a storm brewing. Or an even bigger storm can be done with an old tin. This is an old soup tin. Do <laughs> some pasta. Or even look around all the kitchen utensils. Here's my teapot. Ooh, yeah. That makes a good noise, doesn't it? Big storm or even perhaps a frying pan and you could make lots of noise to make that storm but don't forget when Jesus said be quiet be still that storm died down or perhaps you could tell this story in the bath later tonight at bath time I bet with that water you could make some great waves going over the edge but whatever you decide to do, we do hope that you have a look at this story again and that you will see that Jesus has the power over everything. He is the king with the power over all things. And so we can put our trust in him. But for now, please why not go on to the rest of the website and have a look at some of the other things we've put up. There is a new song there, 
one that you should know, Jesus' love is very wonderful. The actions, Jesus' love is very wonderful. So high, you can't get over it. So low, you can't go under it. So wide, you can't go around it. A wonderful love. We do hope you enjoy singing and hearing this story and looking at other things on the website. Until next week, lots of love and take care. Bye.